Making pizza at home will not only save you money, it gives you freedom of choice. Why? Because you can put anything on it you like. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a white pizza with pumpkin, pancetta and pesto. Let's get started. I'm just going to pop one of my dough balls to the side and on a lightly floured bench, just press it out a little bit and then flour my rolling pin and we'll roll it out till it's about two or three mil thick. That way, we'll get a nice, thin, crispy pizza. Now, I've made my dough using a triple O flour. That means it has a really high gluten content. And when it has a high gluten content, it makes it nice and stretchy, which is just what you want from a pizza dough. Okay, now I have a bake line tray, which is fantastic because when the pizza comes out of the oven, it shouldn't be any washing up. I'm just going to take my dough and lay it onto the tray and just stretch it to fit. I'm going to make them nice and rusty style. And now I'm going to top my pizza. To start with, some cheese. We'll just sprinkle that over. You don't want to put too many ingredients on. The thing that I love about really rustic style Italian pizzas is their simplicity. I don't want to pile it up so it's all full of topping, you can't even see the dough. Just nice thin layers of everything, that way that your dough will get nice and crispy and it'll be delicious. Next, some pumpkin. So I'm just peeling the pumpkin, nice and thin with a potato peeler. You get these beautiful wafer thin pieces that I'll just arrange on my base. And again, you don't want too many. Just like so. You can of course do this with potato if you want to. Sweet potato is a favourite of mine as well. Carrot, zucchini. I did do a pizza with zucchini the other day. There we go. And that's probably enough. Next, a little bit of pancetta. And we'll just sprinkle that over. And then finish with some basil pesto. I have a store-bought pesto here, but if you like to, you can make your own at home. Beautiful. And just dollop that over, just in a few spots. Oh, and look at that. Beautiful, simple, rustic Italian pizza that I will just finish with a little bit of rosemary and then pop it in the oven at about 220 for about eight minutes. Mmm, perfectly cooked Italian rustic style pumpkin, pesto and pancetta pizza. And look how easily it slid off the tray. And I couldn't resist, I had to make two.